hello students so we are starting with a theory topic uh, stress in asymmetrical bending so here uh, let's see a cross section of a beam where bending moment m is in the plane of y y is as shown in the figure so let me take you to the diagram so this is a figure so cross section of a beam subjected to a bending moment m in the plane y y so bending moment bending moment is shown like this so suppose bending moment m is acting over here okay now the coordinate axis x x coordinate axis x x and y y they pass through the centroid g okay now let u u let u u and v v they are the principal axis passing through the g and they are inclined at an angle theta to the x x and y y axis so let us show this angle theta over here so this is angle theta and this is y to v this is also angle theta Okay. Now we need to find the resultant stress at any point P. So suppose there is, let us consider any point P. So we need to find out what is the result, uh, resultant stress. So this point P, uh, it is having coordinates x and y with respect to axis x, x, y, y and even it has a coordinate u, v because there are two axes now there is x and y and there is u and v. So we need to find out what is the coordinate. Uh, uh, respective coordinate we have to consider as u u and v v so let us consider a point p let me change the color so this is a p point and it has the coordinates of u and v here corresponding perpendicular distance if you consider the u and v distance over here so let us draw the perpendicular over here and there is a this is v this is u and this is perpendicular and this is also perpendicular distance and this is the angle theta and let this total angle be alpha over here center of gravity is shown now what is the resultant stress at any point p having coordinate x y with the with respect to axis x x y y and U V with respect to U U and V V. So to find the stress distribution over the section, the moment M in pl uh, plane Y Y. So this moment we will resolve uh, into components. So we will resolve it in with respect to U U and V V. In that plane we will resolve it. So the uh, moment in plane U U. So moment in plane U U uh, and V V. So first, uh, let us write its component for u u. What will be component of m for u u? So it will be moment in plane u u. It will be is equal to m sine theta, and its moment in plane v v that will be m cos theta. Now moment in plane u u, it will bend the beam about axis v v. Okay. So this because of this uh, moment in plane u u. Now the moment because of this whatever moment in that plane it will bend, uh, bend the beam about axis v v. So the bending moment due to this moment will be equal to m sin theta by i v v into u. So we know this with simple bending theory m by i equals to sigma by y. So we can write this formula. Similarly, if the moment in v v plane, now the opposite statement. If the moment in v v plane, then it will bend uh, the beam about the u u axis. Okay, if the moment uh, we consider in this plane, then it will bend the beam in u u axis. So the bending stress due to this moment will be equal to m cos theta into v divided by i u u okay hence the resultant bending stress at any point p u so the resultant bending stress resultant bending stress 
resultant bending stress at any point p of u and v will be given by sigma b is equal to m sin theta so simply combining about two moments m sin theta divided by i v b into u plus m cos theta into v divided by i u v so when you take m uh, outside you can write it as sin theta uh, by i v v plus cos theta by i u v so in above equation the signs of u and v will determine the nature of bending stress so if the coordinates of a point with respect to x x and y by axis are known then the coordinate of the same point with respect to u u and v v axis will will be given as below okay so if we know the coordinate of one axis then how to uh, find out the coordinate of other axis suppose you know the coordinates about x and y so how to find out about u and v so there is a formula for this so note down this formula u equals to x cos theta plus y sin theta and v is equal to y cos theta minus x sin theta whereas theta is an it is an inclination you you can see here it is an inclination of principal axis u u v v with axis x x and y y now this is the portion uh, what we have seen that how do we consider the stresses in unsymmetrical bending now we want to see what is the how do we consider neutral axis so at the neutral axis uh, in the neutral axis uh, uh, what is that coordinates we are getting okay so here for the neutral axis the resultant bending stress will be zero okay so at neutral axis resultant bending stress will be zero as the equation of neutral axis we can find out by substituting a sigma b equal to zero in this equation okay so when we substitute sigma b equal to zero why it is zero because at neutral axis the resultant bending stress will be zero okay so then simply substitute zero here in this equation when you substitute zero here so we get so we can write it as m m into u sin theta by i v v uh, plus plus v cos theta by i u u equal to 0 so when we uh, do this we get the value of u is equal to uh, we get v uh, in terms of u so we can write it as minus i u u by i v v tan theta into u okay so this is the equation of a straight line if you can see it is in the form of y equals to mx so passing through the centroid g so here m is equal to we can consider that this particular portion as m okay we can consider this particular part is m and it is the slope of the neutral axis now slope of the neutral axis so if we want to see this term uh, what is the slope of the neutral axis so let us consider now the uh, role of this alpha comes so let alpha be the angle made by the neutral axis with the axis u u and then tan alpha is equal to slope of the neutral axis so in this case uh, the slope of the neutral axis is written by the equation so kindly remember tan alpha is equal to m and it can be written as minus i u u by i v v tan theta whereas alpha is equal to tan inverse of minus i u u by i v v tan theta okay so here we are getting uh, alpha here slope of the uh, uh, neutral axis so the nature of uh, you remember these points that when the nature of stress on one side of neutral axis it will be same whereas on the other side neutral axis the stress will be of opposite nature and the stress will be maximum at a point which is having maximum distance from neutral axis okay so remember this okay students so hope this theory part it is about stresses in unsymmetrical bending 
so hope it is clear to you and uh, now uh, next class we are going to solve the numerical and we'll see the steps to find out what is the bending stress in unsymmetrical bending so thanks for listening uh, thank you